myself at my refrigerator a bit too often. That's because when I'm not meeting my coaching clients in their offices face to face, I'm at my home desk. My home desk is unfortunately only 15 feet from my refrigerator. I'm part of a huge trend, the virtual workplace. You are too if you occasionally work from home, if you haven't met some of the people you work with, or if you use technology to communicate. My guest today, Yael Zofi, is going to tell us how to diminish the problems and amplify the benefits of working virtually. Yael, there are so many distractions at home in addition to the refrigerator. What can we do to stay productive? So the first thing you want to do when you get up in the morning for work is get ready for work as if you were going out to an office. So get dressed, put your makeup on, have breakfast, and don't stay in your pajamas. Okay. Set yourself a separate area where that's your workspace. And even if it's not a separate bedroom or a room with a door, which would be ideal, set a space that when you sit down, that's work. And be able to, you know, focus. Give yourself some guidelines. Set an agenda for your day. And think about what are some of the ways you would handle interruptions, like the buzzer ringing, the dog barking, the baby crying. Make sure that you do take breaks not necessarily to go to that refrigerator, but breaks during the day even uh, to stretch, and then come back and focus on, on your work day. Okay. We, we all know that the best kind of relationships are formed face to face. So what can we do to build relationships when we can't even see the people we're working with? That's actually one of uh, my passions. It's all about connection. Mm -hmm. And human beings at their core like to interact and need to interact and it doesn't matter what culture or what part of the world they come from we're social animals we're social beings mm -hmm. so it, to, you need to make time for interaction on your team and use what is available to you to create that some great techniques are teams using the first five minutes or the last five minutes of their meetings to get to know each other and find something that connects all of you pose a question to mm -hmm. everybody what's your favorite hobby what's your favorite movie, a recent book you read, you'll find that you have a lot of commonalities and it creates those bonds. So even though you don't have the water cooler, you have the virtual water cooler. Right. You mentioned technology. So what do we need to think about when we're using technology like telepresence or Skype? So technology is, is moving at a very rapid pace, that so fast that we keep having more tools available to us. My advice is find your common denominator. So make sure that if not all your team members have the capability for a video camera, for example, that's not your common denominator. So everybody has equal opportunity to work together and interact. If you do have the possibility for telepresence or an advanced virtual technology, and again, Skype is one of the most common that we're all familiar with, but there are a lot of other tools out there. And then make sure you do engage and, and use technology as a way to engage your team with each other. Okay, thank you, Yael. One more tip. Do invest in a lock for your refrigerator. Did you like this vlog? Yes? Then please like it, share it, tweet it, post it, or simply post your comments below. I'm Ora, executive coach. Power up your leadership presence. <laughs>